Marvel fans are about to get a whole lot more Thor, and we mean that literally. At Marvel's 2019 Comic-Con panel, it was announced that Natalie Portman would reprise her role as Jane Foster for Thor Love and Thunder, which will see her become the new Thor. Here's how Portman reacted to the news. Visibly giddy over the announcement, Portman took to the Hall H stage to share her feelings about being the next Thor. She walked across the panel, backed by the cheers of hundreds of Hall H attendees, to accept a prop Mjolnir from director Taika Waititi. Clearly, Portman is excited about her character Jane taking over as the first female Thor and the second iteration of the God of Thunder in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. But she knows what it takes to be a superhero, and the actress is fully prepared for the same workouts that transformed Tom Holland and Brie Larson for their own superheroic roles. After Marvel's SDCC presentation, Portman shared two photos of herself on stage with Mjolnir, writing that she wants everyone to remember what she looked like during the panel so they can compare it to her physique in Thor Love and Thunder. Thor Love and Thunder takes inspiration from the Mighty Thor comic series by Jason Aaron and Russell Dorterman, which turns astrophysicist Jane Foster into a new iteration of the God of Thunder. At the start of the series, Jane is battling breast cancer when she learns she can carry the mystical hammer and take over for Thor after he loses his ability to wield it. In the series, Jane's use of Mjolnir and transformations into Thor actually exacerbates the side effects of her cancer. It's unclear how much of this arc Thor Love and Thunder will adapt, but if they stay true to the comic storyline, it might be a pretty emotional ride. It's also bound to be an action-packed one, as the female Thor possesses all the same abilities that Odinson does, as well as something extra. In the Mighty Thor, Jane has an extra keen dominion over Mjolnir, and can alter its velocity and trajectory after she's already thrown it. She can also round up enemies with Mjolnir by sending it swirling around their bodies. The Mighty Thor mastermind Aaron couldn't be happier that the female Thor is coming to the MCU, and is eager to see how Portman approaches this new side of Jane Foster. He tweeted, well, wow. Consider me thunderously excited. The Jane Foster Thor storyline I did with at R. Dorterman, Eisner winner at Color and Matt, and so many more talented artists is one of my proudest moments in comics. I can't wait to see Taika Waititi and Natalie Portman bring the Goddess of Thunder to life. Whatever your thoughts on Portman becoming the new Thor are, there's no denying that this is huge news for the actress. The last fan saw of her in the MCU was in Thor The Dark World after which she and Thor broke up off-screen. Portman herself had also seemingly parted ways with the Marvel movie world after the Thor sequel, telling the Wall Street Journal in 2016, "...as far as I know, I'm done." Of course, we know now that Portman isn't through with the MCU, and she may not be done with Thor either. Marvel hasn't said one way or another whether Jane and Thor will give their relationship another shot in Love and Thunder, but we're betting it's possible. <laughs> Sorry to hear that Jane dumped you. She didn't dump me, you know. I dumped her. This is a mutual dumping. After all, the two are both worthy of wielding Mjolnir in the eyes of the Asgardian gods. It seems as if their romance was written in the stars. See Natalie Portman's Jane Foster become the new Thor when Thor Love and Thunder hits theaters on November 5th, 2021. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Looper videos about the MCU's Phase 4 are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.